I'm calling in to talk about uh, the psychology of conservatives and just how, like, it's theoretical, theoretical vengeance. So a story came out recently about uh, how in South Africa, uh, liberals and conservatives were expecting, like, a huge backlash when apartheid ended, mm-hmm. but nothing ever came. And I just want to say, like, there's always this, like, underlying uh, thought processes that go on in conservative minds where they're always assuming that if oppression were to end, they would be oppressed, uh, like, immediately. But but it's, like, so embarrassing to them when that oppression does end uh, that nothing ever comes to them. And I just want to say that I think they know that, and that just makes them straight up evil. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, one thing I would say is, like, don't uh, underestimate the uh, ability of a reactionary mind to scare itself with uh, shadows. Like, you look at the lead-up to the Civil War, and all of the Confederate slave masters thought that Lincoln was secretly uh, like going to spring his anti-slavery plans the second he got into office. So they preemptively took political action to uh, foreclose that possibility. That wasn't Lincoln's intention. Lincoln was basically forced to it um, to preserve the Union initially. Um, but... The, the, like it's it's useful for politics like it's useful whether or not there was like a bunch of satanists doing stuff in the 90s like that animates people like the, the and so it's like it's evil but it also is like i, I think it is fundamentally driven by uh fear I, I mean you can also say do uh trace it back to um the the uh john birch society and all of like the communist shadow scares that they had in 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 the red scares as well um i think that's uh a hallmark of the conservative mind even though so i don't know if they know it i don't know if that they're they're so fear-based that i'm not sure they have the self-awareness to to actually make that assessment I would also just jump in to add into those the two great points that a lot of conservatives and just generally when we talk about American society, like freedom is a zero sum game for a lot of people. And so a lot of people do inherently think that your freedom as like a black person or like women's liberation, as you know, from the standpoint of a man is inherently oppressive to them because it takes away things that they used to have. So it's easy when we're talking about actually moving towards an egalitarian society to like think from a leftist standpoint that like, well, yeah, we're moving to a a place of more freedom, but for people people who are inherently reactionary and inherently, you know, at a privileged part of the hierarchy, they think of it as, well, you're going to be taking away some of my goodies to give it away to people who don't deserve them. Or you'll be, you know, allowing people who said you were used to be unable to say no to me to say no. And these are just rights that I used to have. And so, you know, it's a, a little bit of all of those things. Like some of them are like actively malicious. Some of them are socialized to believe that they're going to have something taken away from them more than simply just like their ability to oppress others. And some of them just think that like their ability to oppress others is an, in- an inherent part of their freedom. Them. Like, you know, a lot of people, like, I think the trans hate is a really good point. I mean, a really good point to highlight here was a lot of people think that if they're not allowed to be actively bullying LGBTQ people about like their, you know, their uh, sexual orientation, then they are being oppressed as like good Christians or some other aspect of uh, like that makes them feel that they need to do that. Appreciate the call, Noah. Thank you. Wait, wait, I also, wait. Can I also give you some good news? Yes. Real quick. So. Uh, Florida Rising, uh, uh, people who were coming out to city council this morning, they ended up getting the city council to uh, put a housing state of emergency. Or in, They po- postponed it until November, but uh, this was a great win that the, the city took a lot of organizing to get, and we finally got city council, who was against it for a good long while, to actually uh, to end up declaring this housing state of emergency, or prepare, prepare to declare it. Oh, awesome. All right, well, appreciate it, Noah. Thank you.